Hey guys, we're continuing straight on from the previous video. We're now looking at the unbalanced snow load, the roof edge load from the overhanging snow for the unbalanced case and the snow load diagram. So first up, the roof snow load we've seen before, SGCE mu i. Now we've found SG, it's 1.4 kPa. CE we found in the previous video, that's not gonna change. And that was 1.0. So all I need to find is mu i. So step one, the shape coefficient mu i. We go to figure 6.2, page 26. So back to this figure. Here is the unbalanced case. Now you can see that it says for the unbalanced case, it's 0.5 mu i acting over the most unfavorable half of the roof, which is that half over there. Okay, so all we do is literally go mu i, mu one for this case, for the unbalance is 0.5 mu1 from the balance case. So it's going to be 0.5 and mu1 from the balance case was 0.68. So it's 0.5 by 0.68. So half of 0.68 is 0.34. Okay, so 0.34, which is still between that range which is required. So then all we do is we find the roof snow load S, which is going to be SGCE mu i. So 1.4 by 1 by 0.34. So 1.4 by 1 by 0.34 gives us 0.476 or 0.48 kPa. We can then simply find the overhanging snow, the, the overhanging edge load, which is this formula we've seen before. We've found K and alpha, we know what they are. So all we then do, so K and alpha we've found previously, K was 0.5, alpha, sorry, gamma is 2.9 kilonewtons per meter cubed. So just substituting in those values, 0.5 by 0.48.